you today. Nice, see? Eh? Good zoom. I like that. Well done. Welcome. This is a uh, GU Patrol, and by now you'd understand that we are tiddling doodling on this on this beast of a thing because we wouldn't waste our time if it was a uh, LC. Land Cruiser. <laughs> you would have seen the title of this video by now. So you should be aware what we're doing. We're putting a roof console in the patrol. Before we start the montage, I've added SS seats in and you're going to see the Polaris head unit, so back to the montage. Now that we've got the item in front of me, just before I unwrap this and show you what exactly it looks like, I just want to say a big, big thank you to all the little guys out there that are commenting on the videos, pressing the like button, subscribing. It mustn't mean much to you, the little click, but it means a universe and some to this guy and to these boys. So we're stoked about that. So I'm going to unwrap this little sucker here and show exactly what we've got. Cut. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and rough in the UHF aerial wire and all the rest of it. And then you're going to see the install of the roof console. Cue the montage. Zoom. Welcome inside the interior of the GU. Um, I'm holding the uh, the pillar pod, uh, pod pillar up at the moment because I'm trying to instigate what it used to look like before I took out the handle, which holds it in. So we're gonna quickly put this to the side real quick, like that. Purely because we need to run this. This is the coaxial cord that connects from the GME uh, antenna, which is a 6.6 dBi from the front of the car into the head unit, which will be coming into the GME TX4500S UHF head unit. Now, this is an 80 channel UHF unit and it's amazing. It's by GME, it's really great. It's even got cool colors that you can uh, change on this. The next thing you're gonna see is me removing this. We've removed this already, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, we've already fished this through, which is a little bit of mission, but we got that through already. Um, and we're gonna get this cable to here. So we're gonna have to move this little cover plate here, this little plate here, and inside here, which is already broken, there is a screw right at the top. So remove that, and we're probably gonna have to remove this light here. But for now, it doesn't bother us. So we're gonna do that, and that will get us prepped and ready for the next stage of things. Thanks, lads. What the fuck? Oh, it's a clothes book.
there she is, she's all installed. Um, it's in its full glory. This is how it's gonna sit until the end of its time or until something breaks or if we change it, etc. So I'm really, really happy with the end result. It takes everything from being clustered down in center console and brings it up into the roof, which is a dead space anyway. Comes with all the um, hooks and everything for the cord. Obviously the microphone mount and the UHF is separate. That is something you have to supply yourself. They give you locating templates. They give you cabling loom that goes from that middle light and comes and feeds the rest of it. Actually even supply a small amount of blue tack so that you can blue tack a screw to your screwdriver so that when you do this long run, you can actually get it without the screw falling off. I'll give you a quick rundown of exactly what happens here. So two lights here and one at the back has its own individual switch, which is if I was to operate it now, it won't work because I have this door open. Same sort of setup with the front two lights. They're operated now because they're with the door open. So it's all switched with the, with the door switches. And then just above this UHF here is the master switch. So if I operate that master switch, I'm able to turn off all those lights. So this same goes as once the door's actually closed, we can operate the lights. The storage compartment in the middle here is ideal for your maps and for any sort of loose bit of equipment that you need to leave up there. I personally put my own maps up there. The UHF speaker just for now because I don't need it. Because since being up there, I can hear it so much better. This is by far one of the best mods you can do to get your things organized. I personally think this is fantastic. If there's any other questions you have about it, let me know and I'll go into further depth about it. Thanks for watching this one. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and yeah, keep in touch.